<laughs> Happy October, everyone. It's a time for scares, a time for frights, a time for tricks, and a time for treats. Welcome back to Comic Eden TV, where all horror culture collides for the month of October. Today, we'll be taking a look at the rare Halloween Special Edition 1978 to 1998 20th Anniversary Bloody Snow Globe. This little treasure belongs to my brother, so I wasn't able to do a traditional review on it. Instead, I got plenty of photos and a little bit of video footage, so stay tuned if you dare. This bloody snow globe came in the 1998 Halloween 20th Anniversary VHS Limited Edition set. As you can see, all I have for this review though is the actual snow globe and not the actual VHS Special Edition box. However, I will go ahead with the review through just photos. We have the John Carpenter's Halloween logo with Jamie Lee Curtis's name in the same stylized lettering just underneath. Designed over top, clear plastic window box, printed in blood red, shake me, 20th anniversary numbered snow globe, and in blood spattered, just below that, snow's glitter blood. We have a nice image of Michael Myers peering over the banister, stalking Lori Strode. At the bottom, wrapping all the way around the box, 20th anniversary snow globe set. Includes widescreen VHS with theatrical trailer and limited edition commemorative snow globe. On the side, we see the same Halloween logo with Jamie Lee Curtis's Lori Strode on the bottom crouching next to the couch with the crochet needle ready to stab Michael if he shows. On the other side, we have again the same Halloween logo with Michael Myers at the closet doors ready to crash through just so Lori can stab him with a coat hanger. On the back, the most successful independent motion picture of all time, Halloween. On a black and unholy Halloween night years ago, little Michael Myers brutally slaughtered his sister in cold blood. But for the last 15 years, town residents have rested easy, knowing that he was safely locked away in a mental hospital. Until tonight. Tonight, Michael returns to the same quiet neighborhood to relive his grisly murder again, and again, and again. For this is a night of evil. Tonight is Halloween. Special features include digitally mastered for optimum picture and sound, widescreen presentation, shown in its cinematic entirety, includes original theatrical trailer, four and a half stars, video movie guide. On the top, you have the Halloween logo and an image of Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode ready to strike Michael with his own butcher knife if he attacks again. The VHS case itself is a black plastic anniversary edition. John Carpenter's Halloween, Jamie Lee Curtis. The original diabolical jack-o'-lantern with hand-holding butcher knife as the image on the front. And then a four-star review from Roger Ebert. Halloween is an absolutely merciless thriller. I would compare it to Psycho. So now let's move on to something I've actually had a chance to look at for myself and hold in my own two hands, the bloody snow globe. Let me just say, the snow globe I got the chance to look at was my brother's. And the sticker was taken off the bottom, so I honestly don't know what number collectible this was. But I can tell you, it's a pretty cool little snow globe, nonetheless. While it's not super detailed, it's still pretty awesome, nonetheless. As you can see, it's a nice depiction of the epic scene between Michael and Lori in the Doyle's living room. Very nice depiction of Michael rising up from behind the couch to stab at Lori with his butcher knife. The characters look as if they were sculpted out of clay rather than being made of plastic. Michael's eyes are pitch black and his mask seems to reach all the way down under his jumpsuit. It also appears like Michael's wearing black gloves. The jumpsuit isn't quite the right color as with most Halloween collectibles. Michael here is wearing a gray-blue jumpsuit. But in the film this scene is from, 
Michael actually wears a forest green jumpsuit. They did, however, get Lori's outfit correct. And the couch is correct. But two small details they got wrong were the pillows and the bag with the yarn. In the film, the pillows are the same size. And the red pillow is actually closer to the arm of the couch, with the tan pillow being closer to Lori. The bag of knitting yarn actually isn't present at all here. As you can see, though, there is red glitter all over the bottom of the globe. And if you shake it up, you get a major bloodbath. I keep trying to get my brother to give me this since I'm such a huge Halloween fan. But sadly, no go. If you want to purchase one of these guys, the snow globe alone sells for a pretty pity on eBay. The cheapest I was able to find was $36 with an $8.95 shipping for a leaky snow globe. And for a decent non-leaky snow globe only, I found one for $140 with free shipping. I managed to find the actual complete collector set in box with VHS for $149.99 plus $11.70 shipping. And that's for the least expensive one. I hope everyone enjoyed this review and has a happy Halloween. I'm Shannon for Comic Geddon TV. Take care. <laughs>